kids and welcome to our story world today we will read a book a home of our own this story gives a beautiful message that children can find happiness anywhere and in any given circumstances also the book gives a peep of the life of the poor children which is a very important learning for the privileged ones let's start with the story a home of our own story Megha Gupta Pictures by Habib Ali Publishing House Tulika Publishers Look look what I got Dulari came running to her friends The other children crowded round to see what she had in her sack Dulari opened it and pulled out some old plates and bowls So pretty said Manohar Where did you get these? asked Suneri. From that old lady in that big house was sweeping outside, said Dulari. Oh, that one. She never gives any money for work. Last time she gave me a torn frock for cleaning the mess her dog had made, said Suneri. I like red color, said Deepa, picking up a plate. She could have given you at least 20 rupees. We could have bought some teas and pakoras, said Salman. What will we do with plates and bowls? Let's play house house, said Sunheri. Ma, papa, didi, bhaiya, munna, munni. The children argued about who would be what. Once that was decided, they began to collect other things for their house. Sunheri pulled out plastic bottles and empty packets of chips from her sack. She had picked them up outside the railway station. For the kitchen, she grinned. Deepa plucked some grass and a few leaves. Then she dug out some mud, poured water and began to shape it. These can be vegetables and dough for rotis. Outside Apsara Hotel, Deepa would sometimes find boxes with leftover sabji and rotis. Once in a while, there would even be some mithai. In the beginning, the guard would drive her away, but now he didn't say anything to her, so long as she stayed away from the entrance. See utensils, said Manohar. He showed a broken helmet and a round piece of metal from the mechanic's shop where he washed cars and bikes. Quickly he put together some bricks to make a stove. Salman had been helping some workers to paint a wall. He ran off to borrow an empty paint bucket. This will be our chair, he declared, turning it upside down and sitting on it cross-legged. Asim pulled out a cardboard box. Some people had moved into a building and left lots of empty boxes on the pavement outside. He placed it in front of Salman and this will be a TV. TV? All the children burst out laughing. Just then Reshma joined in. No one bought these roses at the traffic signal today. Let's decorate our house with them, she said. Dulari took the bunch and smelled it happily. They started decorating their house. Suddenly, the clouds turned dark and drops of rain began to fall down. Now, where shall we play? Sunheri asked sadly. Come with me, Manohar shouted and began to run. He stopped near an old abandoned car. This can be our house, he said. The children scrambled in and started putting up the things they had collected. That night at least Dulari, Sunheri, Deepa, Manohar, Salman, Asim and Reshma went to sleep in a home of their own. The end. I hope children you all enjoyed this beautiful story with a beautiful message that we do not need expensive toys in order to play and find happiness. We can find true happiness with our true friends anywhere in any circumstances. If you like the story do hit the like button share it with your friends and do subscribe to my channel for more such interesting stories
Bye bye.